Oh god, this is already terrifying. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Are y'all ready for this? Not enabling your stalling? <sighs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Here we are. Looking at our gamma. Adjust gamma so you can barely make out the details on the robot poster on the left. This is our robot poster, yes. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, I'll wait. Go on, what do you have to say? And so we do it again. Robot poster on left, barely, barely make out the details. So what you're saying is I shouldn't do this. Uh, let's turn hints off for now. Maybe we'll turn it on later. Video distortion effects. Um, sure, color separation. Sure. Simple interaction icons. Does that tell you if you can interact with something? Oh, here we go. New game. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive the way the game was designed from the start. <laughs> Monsters are so creepy, but can't kill you. You don't need to worry about stealth. Oh, okay. We'll do normal. We'll do normal. It's fine. How's the the game audio for y'all when it when it pops back up? Let me know if it's like too quiet, too loud. Reality is that which when you stop believing in it doesn't go away. Oh gosh. Are you okay, Simon? No, I'm not. You're bleeding. Oh. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Huh? Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Oh boy. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Okay, I'll turn it up in a second. I never enough time. For what? We have to answer this before I turn up the volume. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Remember. Are you all right? Yeah. Why did that repeat like that? Bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple. See you in a couple. See you in a couple of hours then. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I'm gonna turn up the volume really quick, just a little bit, not too much. But what I'm already gathering is we have some sort of brain trauma. Maybe we got in an accident. Maybe we're not remembering things. Fluid. I need to get the tracer fluid. Okay, you're right. Oh, I have messages. I can pick up everything. What is this? Um... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you mean it. <laughs> That's cute. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Jesse, okay. I sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Um... Is there- are there subtitles for this? Yes, please. Okay, there we go. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Sorry, we gotta look at all this stuff in our apartment first. Oh, I can like... Ombra... How do I... I'm sorry. <laughs> Come here. I gotta read you. 
How do I turn it, rotate it? What was the rotate uh, button? Q and E, I think. Oh no, that's that's your peak. Oh my god, we peak in this. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. What does it say? I can't tell. <laughs> we have an award for something. We like to take photos. That's cool. Let's just drop our camera. I do like you swaying drunkenly. <laughs> cool. We like we like to take photos. We have a, a bunch of camera equipment. What's this? How do I inspect things better? I may may maybe I want to look at that. Rotate R and middle mouse. Okay. R and middle mouse. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh Haimatsu Technologies. Okay. Is that our... is that a camera company? And we've got a... How to shoot our camera. That's cool. Love a... Guidebook. We can move our chair around. Can we throw our chair? Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, we got a bunch of papers. Oh, there's... Okay. I'm already really enjoying this. There's so much we can do in just one room. Mapping Minds, Albert Isaacson. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin! This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Ooh. Are we going to go through different stages of our life in one game? We have some maybe bookmarked pages. Can I open it? No. Can't open it. Who is our doctor who called us earlier? Was it Albertson? We love a, a pan pizza. This is giving me Neo from the Matrix vibes, like his early apartment. We fast food. don't, yeah. I should buy something healthier on my way home. We don't seem to take care of ourselves very well. Got a lot of pizza, just some classic uh, paste. The paste, good, good, good. We have um, noodles. I mean, you're getting some vegetables. We're just gonna leave that for now. Our takeout, good. What is this? Now I want pizza or the paste? <laughs> what is this? A shirt. Okay. Maybe we need to get dressed at some point. We'll put that back there for now. Our keys to Simon Jarrett. Can't open them. I probably, okay. I maybe want to write some things down so I'm not forgetting them as we go. Our friend's name was Jesse? Was that, was that what our friend's name was? Jesse? Don't remember our doctor's name. We have keys. Okay. I don't think we need to do that yet. Our, our objective right now, which I am just ignoring, is find the radioactive uh, stuff we need to put in our body. These ones are glowing. This is a notebook of weird sketches. Oh. Sad. We got a cute little bug. 
something 7 to 12, volume 7 to 12, a book, math maybe, get well soon, love mom, Oh, cute, thanks mom, is this our checkbook, it's our checkbook, oh, oh, drop that there, oh look at this little cutie, wow, uh, I want to put it back on the desk nicely. Nicely, I said. Oh, this is the woman we were in the car with, I think? She doesn't look thrilled to be taking that picture. Yoke yeets the cutie? Look! <laughs> I tried to place it nicely. It's not very easy. Uh, oh, Simon Jarrett is our name. We're Simon. We're Simon? Why are we sending our self mail? That's our tracer fluid. Our doctor is Dr. Peak. Okay. We're Simon. Why are we sending ourselves mail? Grimoire. Robin McConley meet and greet book signings. Books, comics, board games. Love that. Our feet in the sand and the water by the beach. We love a beach moment. We really love a beach moment. Big fan of the beach. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't look so thrilled to be in this photo. Oh, that's at the Grimoire too. Is that where they met? We've got our computer. Whoa, what is that icon? Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. <laughs> oh, look at those birds. Cool. Alright, we'll, we'll let some light in, I guess. We've got a piece of paper down here. What is it? What, what were you writing before? Are these the letters by the thing that you're sending to yourself? Bad drafts? We'll put it in the trash. Nope. No, 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 no. We want the light. <laughs> Nailed it. There is no resisting the eat button. Do you think I can make it from here? Oh, wow. Okay, physics, physics, physics. One more time, one more time. Yeah, we could go pretty far, actually. Ooh, okay, not that far. Halfway between. One more time, one more time. Halfway. Sheesh! We're a basketball star. Let's bring our chair out of the way, because I feel like that's the bathroom, and that's probably where that fluid is we need. Nothing but net, baby. <laughs> um, okay, our bathroom, yes. This is nice. This is helping me get comfortable with the controls. Love that. Put the seat down, you monster. Okay. Toothpaste. Are these empty toothpastes? No, 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 no. In the trash. In the trash. There you go. Oh my gosh. No wonder you don't put things in the trash. It's so hard to do. Nail clippers. Don't know what that is. They threw it on the ground. <laughs> Why would they do that? All right. So uh, my theory was incorrect about the... Is that blood? From our brain that won't stop bleeding? No, no re radioactive fluid in here. Oh, we have a light switch. Oh. Okay. Is it in the tank? No. <laughs> okay, so it's not in here. If I were a radioactive fluid, where would I be? Downtown accident kills young woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to 
<clears throat> blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger's side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, oh, survived but with complicated results believed to leave them with permanent brain damage. Okay, so there was a car crash, and Ashley did die. Ashley Hall died in a car crash. I'm also writing this down because I will be playing this on Fridays, and hopefully I, I need to remember what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's so sad. Oh, this is the drawer button. Okay, that's all we can read in here. Cinema. Oh, variety. I thought it said verite. <laughs> I got very excited. <laughs> uh, the ultimate movie magazine. Okay, so we're a nerd. Massive recoil, flawless execution. In the theaters December 13th. Okay. Do you think we'd go see it? Oh, this one's shining. Uh, hello? How am I supposed to read this? Xenophobia on the rise. Homebound, why we're burning, bringing, bringing, bringing the troops home. Oh, so we're in Toronto. Okay, we're Canadian. Hmm, why was this glowing? We're in Toronto. This is the same exact magazine. Why do we have multiple copies? Okay. How long ago was this accident? I'm sure it said somewhere. Massive recoil. Oh! John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Pizza, shirts, books, more magazines. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Ah, what's this? Just jars of peanut butter, maybe? We got trash. Okay. I was just making sure nothing was hiding in the trash, because, you know, sometimes, sometimes you hide things in the trash, I guess. We're gonna- we're gonna put it away now. Very good, very good. Okay, so... These are letters sent... to us? These are letters sent to us. We're not sending letters to ourselves. They have a postmark stamp on them. Who sent them? They are empty. And why can't I open them? We'll never know. We'll just... wiggle our way out of here. Okay, seriously, if I were fluid, <laughs> you just need a comb, you never know. Where would I be? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Hooked. Why is this in the drawer by the bed? Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach the first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son Charlie is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying hooked will pull you in. My oh, god. 
Okay. It's giving, um... What is that one with the Cenobites? More things we can grab. Nope. There it is. Ah, there it is. Of course, in this cabinet. What else do we have, though? Silverware? Nope. All right. Caution. Gadu ten seven five five. Haste Laboratories. It's got a fun little uh, radioactive sign on it. I like the symbol that's like mouth. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Are we just chugging the whole thing? Feels like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking on a penny. Feels like milk is not a sentence I ever thought I would hear. Just put our chair back. Okay. So we've done that. Yellow. It's yellow. That's true. Do we have a light switch here too? This whole time. Ugh, no, not the big light. Turn it off. Okay, uh, let's get the keys by the door. I imagine we can leave now. We've done the thing we need to do. Let's go. Hopefully I'm not naked. I left a shirt by the door, so. We'll see. Okay, we're on a train. Do I actually have to know which stop to get off at? Oh, my phone is ringing again. Jesse, the grimoire. Oh, they work there. Jesse. Simon, what's up? I want to check if you're coming to the store today. Uh, maybe later. I got the brain scan thing. Remember? That's today. I thought. I forget. I'm sorry. Just send me a mail next oh. time. Oh. I need these things in writing. You know that. Do you know <laughs> we sell calendars? You should get one. I have one. I just never write anything in it. Maybe I'll swing by later. Depends on how long this scan thing takes. That's cool. I'll just get Chris to help me out. Anyway, we're getting a new minion today. Thought you might want to come by, say hi. Okay. Placing Ashley already? Hmm. That was quick. No, it really wasn't. We've been understanding Okay, so it hasn't been that long. You know I guess it's been a while. It really has. Like, a month already? A month. Anyway, get the scan done, get good news from the doctor or whatever, come down to the store, say hi to the new guy, and lunch is on me. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate your support. Don't want to replace another minion. That's not funny. It's a little funny. No. No, it's not. Bye, Jesse. See you later. So we work there? We work at the Grimoire? It seems... All a big setup. What are you, what are you saying? Ooh. Oh, there's our little brain. Okay. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Does seem a little abandoned here. Kind of freaky. Oh, I didn't look at my computer at all. It literally is all a big setup. Where is everyone? <laughs> thought this place would be busy. From David Munchie, subject skin now, 2nd of May, 2015. Paul, where are you? I've, we've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Let's do what? What are we doing? Why does it sound so suspicious? Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. What are we doing? I thought we were getting a brain scan. 
Why are you why are you poking around in my brain like this? I didn't look at my own emails. I should have done that. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay, so we're probably looking for a code. Um, who are we? We've got, we've got David. Munshi. We've got... What's the other guy's name? Paul. Paul Berg. York Uni. So they're professors, probably. Paul Berg. Or undergrads. <laughs> or graduates doing some crazy experiments. This sounds like an experimental thing. What is pace? Uh, we gotta find that out. And then uh, Dr. Wei, or Professor Wei, who was it? Professor Wei. To vouch for our project. So they're probably like graduate students, Professor Wei. And then... Okay, so we don't know where Paul is. Can we click on anything else in here? No. Oh, I hit the wrong button. How do I leave the computer? Right click, okay. Okay. Not weird at all. Definitely not weird at all. Page 56, Neurographics, Nakajima. Moment, def, tweak for right length. 20 to 30 milliseconds blurry. Improved reversed projector technique. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mm, I don't like this. No, no, no. Brains are not trial and error. What do you mean? <laughs> Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to comp compensate and even heal itself. Explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munshi, uh, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. No, we haven't been eaten yet. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, I'm realizing this is all a big setup. I don't know what's going on. This is not a brain scan, though. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for mir miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell you where your brain is going. Okay. Oh, here they are. It's not... A long forecast, it's about milliseconds. Okay, like, what did they say? 20 to, like, 20 seconds? 20 milliseconds? But with the right computer model, Berg and Munchie can administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could give... We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We were able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. What? And when they do find that optimal treatment, it's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from PACE Laboratories, okay, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all this support, says Berg. Now we need to get out of the limelight and do the actual work. So PACE is a laboratory that is funding them, essentially. What do they mean... We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon? It's just a computer model? Oh my god. Okay. 
Oh, God, I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry. Oh, can we? Wait, 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 wait. No. Go in. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Well, we both have the same... Uh, little USB thumb drive. So, 20 to 30 milliseconds blurry. They're still trying to figure out the right length? I'm just a test subject for them. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can have some light. We got some paintings. This sign, they just probably slapped up there. This isn't even a real place. What the heck is this? No. This is a hard no. This is an actual no. Boo, still marinating? Let me marinate. Let me marinate a little more, please. <sighs> okay. Oh, we, we need to find the code. Right. Um, on a post-it note somewhere, they said? Not there. Not there. Was it in here? 2501. Okay, it was in there. Uh, 2501. I did not like that sound. We'll be polite and close the door. James. Okay. <laughs> Let me have the fire hose. It's just the tip of the iceberg. That doesn't seem good. Oh no. Development phases, hardware. So, Haimatsu is providing the hardware. Oh god. Oh, nope. Anyway, interesting. Is there a light switch in here? Please, let there be a light switch. What are you, what are you drinking? Jaws? Okay. Oh good, an exposed needle, yeah. Let's just put this over here maybe. While we look over here. So we got some brains. Good. Mm-hmm. We got some funky harmonizing shapes. We got some waves. A little neuron. Bones doing physics for whatever reason. What is this thing in the bottom right, though? That looks like a Fine. Gosh, you can really look through everything. That's kind of crazy. Okay. More, more jaws. This... This feels a little hodgepodge, I'm not gonna lie. The nervous system. <laughs> I'm nervous. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Fine. Hello, you. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. 
Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people Hi, like Sin. you. Hi, Sin. Welcome oh, in. Did you uh, take the tracer fluid? I yes. did take the yes, tracer fluid. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So I am aware. I'm aware. This doesn't sound. Uh, uh, this. This doesn't seem like it's going to be gentle. <laughs> That's nice. <clears throat> anyway. Please have a seat. Oh, uh, I might want to ask you some so question. What exactly are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Uh huh. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. Or send so me into psychosis. Study, this will actually help me. Oh, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be awesome when he trips over some wires while you're attached to all that. Yeah, that seems so safe. So safe. You what else? A serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal. Oh, yes, we have a I timeline. Heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. That and if it ever gets great. real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, <laughs> but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Sonora, that's the funniest comment. This guy is giving that tech bro who swapped blood with his son. <laughs> true, 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 true. Okay, look, I'm going to get in the chair. Just but have I, a seat and we'll be out of here in no time. I really have to pee. I'm so nervous. I really have to pee. So we're just going to do the quickest BRB. <laughs> before before uh before everything happens we're back i gave myself a little pep talk it's gonna be good it's gonna be fine everything will be a-okay please have a seat are you ready to sit in the chair yeah okay God, I hate this already. <laughs> All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Yes. Uh, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. My <laughs> god. Ready? Say cheese. No, thank you. Pigeon Squire, is this the eating, getting eaten part you were talking about? Is this, is this me being eaten? What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? No. <laughs> Did something go wrong? Ah, no, 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 no. This isn't funny. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. Hey! Why do my footsteps sound Anyone? so heavy? Is 
is this place? How did I get here? Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Unlock terminal from service console. Okay. Okay. Why is there so much blood? Okay, here's our service console. Omnitool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omnitool with fully customized tools and assistance. Okay. Okay, also we have four suits and two are out. What does that mean? Is this one of the suits? Am I wearing a suit? I can't see myself. It almost sounds like I'm wearing a suit. Well, who's wearing the fifth one? Insert Omnitool to access. Okay. What is the toolbox toolbox what is the omni tool okay we gotta find an omni tool right now yep that makes sense everything's locked if i see something out there i swear to god that <laughs> Am I home? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Seems fine. Seems good, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, please, I I just want to find the Omni tool. I'm scared. Shoe for me. If I go too slow, what happens? I can't open that. <sighs> okay. We need an Omni tool. Or we could just break a window. That's also a way we can do it. Um, because we can't really do anything else. <laughs> Need no hint. I got there. I got there. There's a pneumatic seal? Why? Tech Depot. Okay. Okay. What if we just crouch, crouch everywhere, you know? Data buffer available. Break room. I love a break room. Bathroom. Let's start in the break room. Uh, let's, let's 
Let's close the door. I... Ew. Okay. Home is a state of mind? I am losing my mind. Food blocks. Curry mix. Oh. Starfield? Okay. Cooking stream. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Oh, look, so many. Oh, here you go, Pigeon Squire. Your favorite. Spinach. Yummy. <clears throat> Nothing like a cube of spinach. Can I actually make something? That would be pretty sick. One. Uh, two. Ooh, dried beef. Three. I really don't like this. Coffee. Okay, break room. Break room is not it. I'm 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 going to get into leaning really really fast really quick. <clears throat> we're going to we're going to just a toilet. Can I hide in here? Yes. Oh, there's bugs in here, though. Alright. What is my hand doing? Oh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Okay. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. This feels like some sort of movie that he's watched and his brain has gone to this place. First aid. Recovery position. This will be me later. Robot doc? No. Hard pass. Thermal plant is this way. How do you get to the thermal plant? Oh my god, please. Oh. We can't open it. Okay, I see. Locked off so far. Okay. Observation tower, observation tunnel, security. What were they blocking off from? They turned off the... See, look, this is sealed for a reason, right? I shouldn't be touching this. I shouldn't be touching it. I should not be touching it. Okay. I swear to God, if there... Why are things glitching out? No, 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 no. If there are jump scares, I'm gonna be so upset. I need to, I need to like, I need to like back away a little. Just like, uh, I'm too, I feel too close. This robot's gonna jump out at me one of these hackers. Okay. Why? Why is this happening? 
Will you hold this for me? It gets really glitchy when I get close to the robots. You... I told you. <laughs> I told you no. Are you going to continue to glitch around? This is so upsetting. Pathos. I have to walk near other robots. There's so many. Okay, this is nothing. We're, just, we're, just, <laughs> we're not stalling, we're just looking around. We're just making sure we didn't miss anything. It does seem like uh, some sort of biological, robotic, organic robot stuff is going on here. Oh, that one's hooked in. Oh no. I have to walk up to it, don't I? Okay, we're gonna line up. And we're just gonna... Okay. Hey, you. Oh, you okay, talk? okay. Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. Please, 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 please. This game. I sure I'll be using it as a robot here. Yes, I will. Look, nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing to see here. Oh my god, it got out. Can I? want to <clears throat> yeah 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 we'll just stay here did it just put a hole in the wall it just put a hole in the wall Okay, so if my heart is beating loudly and I start breathing a lot, that robot is near? I'm like not talking because I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay. 
Because your guy is in love with the robot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My heart code. Duka duka. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, that does seem good, huh? <laughs> the ma. Warning, keep hands clear. Oh, okay. <sighs> no. Hard pass, no. Why? Why? Mm, no. Okay, so the same hardware company. Suspected structural faults must be reported immediately to your supervising engineer and Lambda Station Logistics. I would uh, like to uh, report some uh, some structural faults, please. Is there some paperwork in a nice, brightly lit room that I could fill out? <sighs> Shut up. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, so that's that's perma sealed. For a reason. Push the button. It's a trick. You're tricking me? I will not be pushing that button. I also read that there's a... a run. And I, I hate the idea that I have to run. For you, I will do this. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I actually have to open the door. Right, 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 right. Let's do down here. If the monster is like some version of me and my subconscious, I swear to God. We got a little, little Angie up in here. Omnitool. Oh, this is good. We kind of need one of these. The Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic lo logical charts. Over time, the Omnitool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omnitool has a short-range signal useful for basic or automated actions, such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omnitool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. I was knocked down by this very door. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which has, allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omnitool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting. This is not necessary for me to read, but I'm reading it because I'm stalling. <laughs> Can I have an Omni tool? Probably not. There's so many noises and frankly, if it could not, that would be sick. Okay. When you make noises like that when I come up to something, I, I don't like it. Is this a person? It was a person? They got overtaken by the, like, organic robot matter? They don't have an Omni tool on them that I can take? If I walk out of this door and get jump squared, jump squared, <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> we'll square up. I'll jump square you. And I can't do anything. RIP Doc Ock. Yeah. All right. I guess we move forward. Seems right now I'm just getting set up for the scary parts. Um, watch out, you might you might slip. Wouldn't want that to happen. Workplace safety and all. Hi, Fretex. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I love that you're wanting to watch, but um, I am doing no backseating. It's okay if I miss something on the table. I'll probably have to go back for it. And that's fine. Uh, thanks for being here, though. Swiped Omni tool. Okay. Is this a door that I can actually open? No, it's locked. So you can get hurt by in the environment. Sick. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, yeah, the giant Omni tool on the table. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So. What if I go back first <laughs> and use the Omni tool in that other room? Even though it's it's not really necessary. Will it unlock some extra? Thanks, Frytex. You're all good. Is the game saying no you don't want to go that way oh it's it's knocked out the lights everywhere the, this is this this is this is, I'm just, we're going back it's suddenly become very bright in in this room and it's making it hard for me to see what's happening oh god Turn off the lights. It's it's windows. It's windows. 
Do I, maybe I get a little sheet and I put it over my head and the monitor. Oh my God. Heck this. Oh wait, we're going this way. I'm, I'm, I'm crouch walking everywhere. <laughs> I don't care. Please. Does it react to like noises? Error. Why error? Okay. So we've got to do something first. Maybe we do have to go back. It's so dark. <laughs> Why is it so dark? Can't open that. Okay, we go back. Where did it go? How is it? Okay, it's getting, it's going around. It's alien. It's in the walls. this door. This is the break room. Fuck. So dark. We did this data buffer. This is, oh, this is the break room. Bathroom. We came out of here. Here we go. All right, there we go. Um, what do we close the door? I know the window. The window is open, but... Service console up to 3, including pilot seat activated. Sick. Pilot seat. We love to see it. System status. Remote access denied. Servers offline. May power suspended. Yada, 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 yada. What are you? Oh, that's my name. Auth uh, author? Okay. David, our, our friend who put us in here. Theta Cash. Graphs Legacy. <laughs> Musk must pay for those servers. <laughs> Rough. All right. So there's still like basis in our real world. Welcome back, Louise Miron. Okay, so this is who we got the tool from. It is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. I mean, I, that must be what we need. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Tool chip not inserted, okay. Welcome back, Luis Miron. Your Omnitool is a blah, 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 blah. Not fitted with a Cortex chip. So these are all things we may probably find along the way. Is this how we're fixing our brain? 
You're currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence, Helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Oh, interesting. Unlock toolbox, sick. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Okay, well. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. Keith Forgan, Jane Adams, Heather Walsh, Lambda Obsidian. Oh, wow. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Hmm. Then what do you do? You shove that on the tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around okay. it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. Okay. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. John. I got an office at Data. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Okay. Good luck. Do we think he's still alive? Me thinks no. But we'll go check out his office. Oh, John is security on Theta. All right. Um, this is unlocked now. Thank you. Put in that that tool chip. Tool chip, and we can update. Nice. Tool chip. Tool chip security cipher. Great. Uh, and that's all we can do for now? Level three. Okay. Cool, we love that. Okay. So we, uh... Okay. So we got this now. Uh, does it ever get brighter? I would like to know. Oh. We can read this now. Pilot seat three. Fun, in progress. Power. Is there a power surge or something? Did he fry our brain? No pilot found. No pilot found. Offline, okay. And we can't sit back down. There was a date, 2104. <sighs> We're in the future, y'all. Oh, wrong. I keep hitting escape instead of right mouse click. The lights are offline, but it's aware. It, but past the process of obtaining this information. <sighs> yeah, you know, it's 2104. We do what we want. <laughs> oh, they open this door now. Cool. Love that. Is this where we were before? When did this get opened? Did I just miss that it was opened? I could have. We're getting brash. And now we've got all this. Okay. <gasps> Lights. And whatever that is. Um. Can we close it? What if we closed it? Thought? Whoa! 
this is cool. We're underwater. What planet are we on? Wow, this is really cool. I like this area, not only because it's brighter, but because it's just, in general, cooler. <laughs> got some fishies. We got some fishies. What else we got? Sharks. Oh, sharks with, uh, little robot bits. That doesn't seem good. Uh-oh. You're telling me... I gotta be even more scared of the water now? I don't like that. Keep this space clear. This seems like you can pilot a little... ship or something. Oh, we've got an airplane down here. Got a door over there. Um... Data buffer. Let's find out some info. I'm gonna miss this spot. This very peaceful spot. Okay. There was the thermal plant, but I think that still wasn't accessible. Not sure. We're heading this way anyway. Okay. Ha uh, how? Shut up. Please. What is that button? What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Oh. Okay. Something failure. Critical system failure. Please reboot. No. No, 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 no. Why? <sighs> this is, this is just so rude. Follow the lights. This is why we gotta make remote work a thing. Exactly! Who wants to be crawling around in ducks? Ooh. 
We're just gonna go forward. Nice and forward. In the dark with angry robots? Exactly! Oh god. At least we can turn around in here. We don't have to like go backwards or something. Also, did I miss something on here? No. Keep following some lights. I hate this. What's wiggling over there? Why are things wiggling? Production well, injector well, turbine generator, geothermic zone. Do we do we pull something up from the bowels of the earth? We're closing this. Oh. Um you seem friendly. I think. Hello. Oh no. This seems bad for you. Hey, can you hear me? Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Can we, can we remove these? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, why? Do you want me to put it back? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm... Why does this sound like... You good? Why did that sound like Ashley? Okay, standing by. Radio signal blocked insufficient power. Oh, okay. Manual boot sequence. Okay. Don't touch the structured gel leakage. Can confirm its effect on WOW. Issue has been reported to SSE Woolchuck. Okay. So the structured gel is a problem. Terminal locked. Just some casual goop. Station control, okay. Puzzle time? And nothing up here. All right, puzzle time. Critical system. Okay. Ooh, buttons. <laughs> we like buttons. I don't know. But I did it. Uh-oh. Unlocking! Unlocking! No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, stations, Lisbon, offline, Cadiz, offline, Site Delta, offline, Site Theta, offline, offline, online, Site Lambda, online. Okay. 
Can you hear me? I hear you. Oh. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? I don't know. Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Oh, so, oh, damn relays. Oh, my God. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. A uh, station Yeah, control. you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay. Helpful, yeah. yeah, 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 so helpful. Well, that's unlocked now. Okay. We close doors around here because we care. All right, get another system pressure great oxygen unavailable what do you mean what do you mean unavailable am i not breathing power restored record recorded downtime 143 days what do you mean Structural inner hull integrity, multiple breaches, sector A, D, G, J, K, J, K. <laughs> Alt words. System online, though. Good news. Nothing that way. Okay. Are there people who have like speed run this game? Think? Oh, sh shut up. <laughs> that was freaking rude. Oh, okay. I have arms. I, I missed that earlier when I got into the thing, but I do have human looking arms. So I guess I'm like kind of not a robot like I thought. My heartbeat is around. Oh, we touch it. Is this gonna turn the lights off though? Ugh. I hate it. Everything's falling apart. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you mean? If I see it, does it see me? Is that the thing? there things I can Oh Oh boy wrong way wrong way wrong way No 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 no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I 
guess I go up those stairs. Can I pick up something? Know if this is the way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. All the robots started talking, gained a little bit of sentience, and it was starting to freak people out. Plus all this shit. Ugh. This feels like, I hate touching these things. Th those feel like they're the um because of our our brain trauma we have like really messed up neurons and this feels like us touching damaged neurons essentially being like you good there and for whatever reason it Turns them off. You gotta acknowledge them. Should I have done that before I did that? Oh well. Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. That's it. All right. We need an ID number. Okay. Let's find our ID. Okay, we're... Oh, there's communications. Oh boy, okay. We were just in... Where is it? Control station? A? And we took the stairs? Are we up in, like, administration? Our control station. Oh, you are here. Look, there's a, a very handy little thing. We're above control station B. Chill out. Chill out. We're all going to be chill here. We're all going to be cool. Oh, look, there's there's the CN Tower in Toronto. Cute. Got some artwork. Everything's a little freaky creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Amy and Carl, pathos buddies. Cute. Gut, gut sheep? Got sheep. Amy's sketchbook. Sick. Wait, did, were there like numbers or something on here that I missed? I don't think so. Reseal exit 2A. Hidden work. Hidden workload. Ugh. Being awesome. They were awesome. They did their job. Whoa. 
What the heck is that? Those are, they're sea turtles. Some sort of underwater thing? That one looks like a dinosaur. To be or not to be? Okay. We've got our clothes. Cool. Oh, communications. Nice. I'm getting turned around a little bit, but we'll figure it out. What is the pilot seat? Hi. Can I talk to you? Yeah. I know. What are you? Are you blind? It's me. Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I know, actually. Whoa. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. So, Carl. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I'm <laughs> saying a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? My name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Okay, so does Carl actually think he's human? I, I'm confused. Hello? So, where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See you waiting? Look at my hands. Hey! He really thinks he's okay, a human. Hey, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be, I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Uh, okay. Interesting. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? <laughs> okay, so are we seeing things differently? Everything. Are you diving in sewage or something? Maybe. What's it to you? Okay, so before we... Offline, offline, offline. <gasps> Wait. Is this... No, that's not. That's not a thing. Okay. If I open this, is he going to start this? Is this accidentally going to kill him? I hate to do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The heck? Really need help. Please tell Amy. I, I'm sorry. I I think I pulled the wrong lever. Don't don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. What the heck? Do I have to do it to open this door or something? Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. I don't really want to do this, but we're gonna we're gonna do it one more time. Because uh... no, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, 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 really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm really, 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 really sorry. What's the point? You okay? No, no, he's not okay. <laughs> okay. I don't get the point of this room yet. Other than it's awful. 
Okay. So we want to go up to communications, which is right here. Can we get up here? No. Oh, is this Amy? Oh god, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, this is Carl. ID 0722. Okay. Um What does that mean then? Yeah, there's so much going on right now. Let's do Carl's ID for now. Zero, 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 seven, two, two. Logged in as Carl. Mail. To Heather Wolchek. Subject, Obsidian Auto Process. Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone has to return, note the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. Power flow regulator? Okay. Send? Okay. I was going to send their mail. So people don't- people don't even know. Power manager. Insufficient power. Solution found. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. I think this is where Robot Carl is. What is this one? Can I get in there? That was like immediately, that was the thing I shouldn't do, right? Oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> Storage. Okay, now I can get into storage. Ah, oh, frick, wrong button. Which is right here. A brief introduction to the CCRV7 black box implant. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. We, it measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly relayed to Pathos 2's warden unit, so the station can provide you with the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the auto-injector instruction care carefully to make sure the implement implant is properly applied. RFID implant neuroimaging platine. Okay, do we have one of those? Oh. Can I do something with that? I wonder if we use this on something. Or it's just to show us what it looks like. What does this do? Oh, lights. God, I love a light. If we go talk to our robot friend now... What do we think he'll say? I 
I think. Oh, boy. Hey. I don't like this. Where's this? Through this door over here? Gosh, wrong button. Through this door that we can't access? Or down below, maybe? Let's see, what's this? Maybe that's this? Maybe they're forcing us to kind of kill Carl. Is our friend still down here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, here's another section. This is kind of underneath where we want to be. Just kidding. Just kidding. Not really. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get power to the communication tower without killing Carl. And I am wondering if that is maybe perhaps not quite a possibility. This, I probably shouldn't walk back here. Also, where, where is our monster friend? Where are you at? Also, I can't get back up there anymore. I think this is the way we have to go. So we're doing that much right, I think. And we can't get in there. Have we gone here yet? Oh, we haven't gone in here yet. Killed by a robot? Some crazy shit going on over here. I kind of hate this. I think I think the only way for us to progress forward uh is to basically kill Robot Carl. 
Because I don't know how to access this. finish reading everything on here we might not have here's all our staff there's Jane oh here's our friend Amy she was a field service technician we were a wrangler or Carl was a wrangler oh this is who we were talking no 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 this is who we got the Omni tool from Louise I shouldn't touch flow control, right? Probably a no turning back situation. We will not touch flow control. Do it? Oh, boy. Just lose yourself in the flow state. I don't want to, though. I want to trust Carl. Invalid login. Right, right, right. I don't know why I logged out. I didn't need to log out. Alright, I'm sorry, Carl. There's literally no other way over here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Whole areas I haven't explored. I'm a fool. Okay, thank goodness we didn't kill Carl yet. Turn around. We sealed up to the end to keep it working. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Carl was not my fault. No. <gasps> oh, another badge. Seven zero seven three five. Oh, this is perfect. Wow, we really almost missed a lot of information. Uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> In my defense, I have no defense. What did I just say? Zero seven three five. All right, Amy. Re from Heather Wolchik. Good job trying try to get all the backup turbos running and cut production to 60%. With all the evacuations, we can survive on low and a low and steady hum. No need to strain the system. We should be able to get 20 to 25 years of production before we have to fall back on the turbos. The robots are getting increasingly erratic all over Pathos 2, and unfortunately there's no universal kill switch. Seeing how we won't return to Upsilion, you could try sealing it off. You could try sealing off sectors, sectors to prevent the helpers from getting to the sensitive areas. I just had a thought where Carl is so, uh, he's so convinced that he's a human, even though we see a robot. And then even though when we're climbing up on things, we look down and see human arms, like maybe we're just so convinced we're a human, but we're actually a robot. Just a thought. We've managed to link most backup turbos and activate all generators. Upsilon should be able to produce power for at least a decade before we start burning through the f flues. The bad news is that the machines are getting worse. We've tried to come up with a way to shut them down, but considering the insane amount of units at Upsilon, it's not looking good. Seriously worried they could disrupt power production when we leave. Ideas. Oh boy. Messy, messy, messy. Okay. 
I imagine if you do Amy's first and you don't read, you might turn on flow control. All right. Oh, wow. Let's keep going that way. See what we see over here. Sorry, Carl. Something that way. What's up here? Oh no. Is this flow control? Wait, what does this say? Field service technician. Okay. Hi, buddy. Maybe we do have to open this flow control. Maybe it's a different... Mind your head. Maybe it's a different flow control. Did I open this one? I did. Okay. Alright, in the name of science, we'll do it. Is maybe flow control and power flow control or two different things? <laughs> okay, nothing terrible happened. Geothermal plant. Natural gas refinery construct factory. Oh, okay. So that didn't do what I th thought it would do. it on this is where we found Carl and oh here's flow control Changing rooms. Okay, that's the pump room. Exit to airlock. So that's flow control. Which we've turned on? Maybe that's the thing we need off. Oh no, now we can go into this room. I see. Read this. We strain the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Okay. this lever do I touch this <sighs> one more time sorry we're doing so much back and forth but I'm trying to understand here uh, I think is this a thing we can turn off or does that turn it on Okay, so this is, if we turn this, this is the one by Carl. I see, Robot Carl. This is, this is the, the flow control. Wrong button. How do we, it looks like it's not on? I'm confused.
stop power transfer. I guess that would. We're doing it. is that who are you oh shit why isn't it working Does Carl die either way? Oh my god. Well, I, I don't know. Does he die? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. Isn't this on now? Oh wait, I can I have to turn on on the computer. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. in communication things are leaking that's not good that's very not good we have to touch that corrupted data is detected restore files yeah We have such. Like, how. Is this in our head? Is this all in our head? Did that guy sound a little like Jesse, or is it just me trying to make connections? Peter. This is not. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Johnson. You have a safe trip. Okay. Hey. Hello, Beta. Absalon. What's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, Site Service Engineer Wolchek. 
Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center. If you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I, I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Catch you later. Okay. Hello? Peter, was it? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hey, gotcha. Nara, what's happening? Hi. It's still the same plan, right? Yeah. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. Just a second. Okay. I, I think I'm even more confused than I was before. So we got Peter. Peter doing something. Peter's uh, comms on Theta, I believe. Uh, is this relevant? Is this useful for me to know? I don't know. Oh, we got a little, a little hand scrunchy thing. Hi, Mingo. All right, before we dive into this next part, this is actually uh, a good place for us to pause. I'm not stressed. Doing great. I was actually thinking while I was getting the animals dinner about the fact that you are given a choice about which power supply to turn off. Does the choice actually mean anything? Does it have a consequence later in the game? Or is it simply what route would you take? Do you care if you hurt Carl the robot or would you try to go more of a pacifist route? Does it really matter if you turn off the power flow control? I guess we'll find out. Uh, can I ask, uh, when you played through, which power supply did you turn off? You killed Carl? Carl! Can't believe you would kill Carl like that. Same as you? <laughs> okay, funny. I did. Okay. It wasn't intentional. I didn't try to torture kill him, although I did torture him twice before. Before that. So, am I any better? <laughs> the game is still scary to me, and I'm getting, like, scared by it, but having now seen the the robot, creepy robot, um, and knowing I can just kind of, like, loop him and, like, hide from him, not so bad. Not so bad. We'll see. This I, I'm probably, like, getting too comfortable. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still I'm not sure is the robot like a projection of our like damaged subconscious. I wonder if we're going to go to any of the, the other stations. How real is any of this? If I if I think I had played this when I was younger, when did this come out? This was 2015. I, I definitely wouldn't have played it in the same way. Also, one, I don't think I might have convinced myself to play it. I really, it's, it's taken me this long to even get into the idea of playing scary games. Um, but I definitely wouldn't have like thought about it in the same way or approached it in the same way. That's for sure. I think that's kind of cool, you know? Growing as a person, a horror persona, if you will. <clears throat> that's it, I'm just, I'm only gonna play horror games from now on <laughs> all right i'm ready now the rice cake has been eaten i've hydrated a little bit let's do it are you ready am i ready let us return to upsilon we just came up here, we listened to some audio logs. Ooh, are these all our stations? 
They are. Lisbon, offline, offline, offline. Wait, I thought... Oh, wow. So we're on planet Earth. Good to know. Oh, wow, I can actually just read it. The office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated from everyone here. I want to say it's an honor working with you and Epsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. What do you mean? <laughs> Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time for impact 513. So with great sadness, I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and Pathos 2. <clears throat> I would like to take this opportunity to thank your supervisor, Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. We are a terrific group, and it is with great confidence I say that where we fall, you will surely carry on, carry on with bravery. System director. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. Salute. What? So... Collision of what? A giant asteroid of some sort? Did it hit? 513. Is there a clock? Is there any sort of clock? No? Okay. What is going on? Manual input required. Okay, so if we put these in, we can... Can't call. Hated that. Uh, didn't we just talk to someone on Theta? That's that's not great. Okay. Hey, are you there? I found oh, the. Oh, we talked to someone on Lambda. Oh my gosh. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Uh, everything. Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? <laughs> no, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? They're dead. Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off uh, the Ah, there we go. Oh. Well... You know... Robots don't feel anything, so... Not the way he was yelling. Yeah. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Okay, look. But 
What if I shit 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 where do I what should I Alright oh, <laughs> Wait I wasn't done yet <laughs> I wasn't done yet Did I die? Can you die in this game? Okay. What the hell? How is this possible? Uh oh. This isn't. This is insane. Yeah. I didn't touch the thingy. Was I meant to touch the thingy? Man. I wish I hadn't done Lambda so soon. Maybe all the other ones would have been offline anyway. Okay. This is broken. Can we... Oh. Oh, there's just a casual opening here. Oh no. Are we gonna run into... Are we gonna run into creepy fish? Remember when I was like, I'm chill with the robot. I can, like, run away from the robot quite okay. It hurt me. This is sick. This is so cool. But also... No. <laughs> Please. Lambda. Find the shuttle to Lambda. That's creepy. Don't like that. Okay. I'm not sure this was the way it was meant to go, but it's sick and cool that we could go around this way. Hi, Mango. <laughs> okay. Zeppelin transport. Oh, freaky, 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 freaky. Alright, we just went around that way. What is this? Cool that we can run in the water. That's a no. Am I going the wrong way? I okay, I'm getting distracted. Jump, surely that'll help. Okay, hold on. I think, I think, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna check this out first. We're not gonna... So there's nothing here. Oh god. So pretty sure we're meant to go this way. You can kind of, wow, you can kind of go wherever the heck you want. Oh, you are infected. That's kind of cool. Kind of crazy, kind of wild.
This looks really good. Wow. Um, hello? Hello? The perf perfect underwater uh, ambient music. <laughs> I like feel my shoulders being so tense right now. Oh good, data buffer. for you root and tootin okay this is scary are there sharks here here's a light it's gonna light up and there's just gonna be a shark swimming past I can feel it I can feel it some crazy shark is gonna be out here. I'm gonna have to fight a shark. Okay, maybe not a shark. Whatever the hell that is. Uh-oh. That's not good, buddy. Are you good or? Where did you go? I probably shouldn't talk to you. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> that was fucking rude. <laughs> I don't understand. Parched? Casey said she did have to. Proud of her. <laughs> He's cheering you on. Don't cheer her on. What do you mean, don't make you the bad guy? I'm so confused. Oh my god. Can I get myself like stuck back here? That would be bad, huh? It's in whatever this is too. Probably should have. Why are. I'm so confused. <laughs> Why are there like people in the robots? How did they get in there? Who are they? What's going on? Freaky. Oh no. Hi. Do you get it figured out? Will you show me the way? What are you doing? 
Is this something I need to do? Will you follow me? Hello? Okay. Oh, there's a crab. Can I pick up the crab? Come here. No. What's this? A pump? It is a natural gas refinery, right? That doesn't seem good. Hi, buddy. Yeah, that that don't be seeming good. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna leave that guy alone. Upsilon B. That looks like a terminal thing. Wow, this place is huge. What the heck? Okay, yeah, pretty sure that's just the way we go. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You might see me. Does it matter if you see me? I don't actually want to find out, you know? Why are you red? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Look at that shuttle station. Finally. Oh, sick. Our friends. It's very helpful. This is very bright. Remember to always wear eye protection. Soylent robots. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, little guy. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, bye, little guy. Okay. We love to see it. Mm hmm. And then. Let's hope the shuttle still works. Audio getting a little steppy on the stream. IKY. Uh, my bitrate spiked. Oh, maybe it was just, uh, maybe it's just like the visual was too much. <laughs> How did I, where did I get a flashlight? It's probably fine. It's, yeah, it'll, it'll probably correct itself. How did I get a flashlight? <laughs> yeah, how did I get a flashlight? Oh, well, I, I like having a flashlight. Come in, Theta. Are you okay? What? I can't. Where are you now? Starsky! I'm at the shuttle. But it's not what you 
looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I turned off the power. I have power. to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Somehow. Okay. So, our map right now, Epsilon, Theta, Delta, Omicron, Lambda, and we want to go to Lambda. Fortunately, it's only one stop. Nothing like a compressed tube uh, to travel on. Surely, pressure won't matter. This little hacker. Do I punch it? Jesus Christ! What the hell? Yeah. Was it did I not get that last one? Wonder if I I missed that last one. Insufficient power. Alright. So we gotta get power. Seven, fifteen, two, ten, one. Oh boy. I don't know if this is important, but I'm writing it down. Fifteen uh volts? Is that what those are? Two I'm drawing shapes now. And then 10. Flat screws. Was that important? I don't know. Oh. Who's that? We love a little data pad. Manifest shuttle beat. Tickets. As a report helper kit, they were bringing some items. Impact event. Uh oh. Is this what we were reading about earlier? The, the apocalypse? On this morning of January 12th, 513, that's the time they mentioned, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2, unique location, has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on the surface platform Omega, unmanned, which is under the circumstances a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on that matter will follow. Okay. So a comet. I wonder if the comet is responsible for some of the stuff we're seeing a video oh boy i guess it's a good thing we never had any kids hard enough looking my parents in the eyes they're going to a bomb shelter upstate by the way along with your dad i'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow i mean i hope they will hell i'm not even sure you'll get this message if you do I want you to know, I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted the picket fence, mm. big family, you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And... I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. <laughs> I love you, Amy. Mm. I always have. And always will. Whose data pad is this? Is this an X or something? 
I don't think it was Carl. Alright, so we've got to get this running. We came from up there. We need power to get that going. Oh, we can... We can open this too? No, we can't. Not yet. Maybe this is the one we'll end up taking. Alright, this doesn't seem bad at all. Doesn't seem bad at all. If the robot is here, I want to know, how is the robot getting where I'm going? How does he know where I am all the time? Oh no. Oh my god! Hey, are you- Don't hurt me! That's Amy. Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. Oh my god. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Oh my god. Just a casual pair of lungs. Her arm has a ton of... of the like... Wow, that's so wild. Nothing's allowed to die. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. So, so Amy, here's the problem. Ah. Power reserves, basic system power, tracks, shuffle offline. Amy, we, we have a problem where you are uh, hooked up. You're hooked up to this. And, um, I can't really do anything about it. This freaking game. What happened to my flashlight? This freaking game. Don't say it like that. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Oh, God. she mean by nothing is allowed to die? A 
That's what I'm wondering. Open that door or no? Is that like an elevator to get to the platform? I did not enjoy that. Ah, floodable airlock repair set, duplex pump, multi purpose cleaner, valve pack gaskets, additional wrench, adaptable. Only adaptable pipes. It looks like there's substations. Contact channel 4673 between them so you don't have to All the way around. Shuttle J6 activated. Standing by. We're going to Lambda? Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. From the ocean. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Okay. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station wow. has multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Okay. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. Mm -hmm. And for a principal operation. Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and the outside wall looks so freaky. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> Oh, sure, yeah, we'll just get launched through. Do you like how I <laughs> locked away? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I thought we went through. Deploying emergency brakes. It seems a little, little late for that. We gotta take this. Wouldn't wanna leave that behind. Was it number four six seven three? All right. This doesn't seem good. Yeah. 
Yes, it's me. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. Oh, back outside. What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Oh, no. What is going on out there? Catherine? You okay? Oh, gosh. We gotta touch it. Touch the thing. <sighs> Maybe this is us reconnecting neural pathways? Um, okay. Our maintenance. Maybe it's butt stuff. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. How do we find our. It's connecting your fist to a sphincter. <laughs> Welcome in, Efic. Is that how you say your name? Thanks for being here. This is not the way I go. Hey. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we touched the butt and then And then what? How you doing, Ethan? All right. We have found our maintenance hatch. Great, 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 great. Unlock this now? Will it unlock for us? This or will this unlock? Oh, there we go. It unlocks for us. Nice. Having dinner right now? Can't complain. Can't complain. That's great. What are you having for dinner? I'm hungry actually. <laughs> I'm probably having pickle soup tonight. Back here. So when do we see a shark, do you think? <laughs> I can find Lambda, right? I mean really. Bread! Be. Love that for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do have a flashlight in the water, nice. I 
I wonder if we're gonna run into any more of those robot, those weird robots that are parched and get mad at me for not sharing the water I don't have. Okay, here's a sign. Ooh, lambda. Nice. 350 meters. That's... That's a, a... a distance. What was that light behind me? Oh, weird. <laughs> Freaky. Ah, here we go. Lambda. Wonderful. I've made a mistake. I made a tiny mistake. Who are we not trusting? Maybe we'll turn off our light. Yeah, maybe brains aren't meant to be integrated into robots? Or machinery? Why? 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 What is... What is... Going on? <laughs> Why are you chasing me? Why are you so angry? Alright, we got some light here. It's not the way we want to go. Gunther the homeless Sugmarine. Okay, here's Lambda. What's this over here, though? We gotta take a little peek see. Oh, gotta crouch. What are you? Can I close you in here? We don't need any unwanted visitors, you know? Oh my god, please. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. What are we gonna learn? Cortex chip required. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. So this is our escape vessel, huh? Alright. And here we are at Lambda. This must be Lambda. That was a huge jump. Plus Jane. <laughs> it seems slightly more friendly here. A little less intense. All right, well, this is actually probably a very good place to call it now that we've made it to Lambda.